Welcome friends, this is Yoga in Our City's virtual studio. I am Sandra and today's class is brought to you by Kinetic Air. This is all about yoga at work. So I'm going to take you through about a 20 minute video of showing some different techniques that we could do while we're at work to help support ourselves. So work can be a time of intensities. Uh, it could be a time even of boredom or discomfort or disharmony. It's also a time where it may be wonderful and joyous and you're living your true purpose and your true calling. And no matter what, throughout the daytime, we can always bring a little bit of yoga into our lives to help support our physical bodies and minds. So uh, wherever you are, you can take a seat. You can take a moment to settle in. Whenever we are at work, and we need a moment to reconnect. Connect with your breath. Begin to breathe. Focus on the natural inhalation and exhalation that comes in and out the nose. If there's any stuffiness in and out the mouth. But just taking a moment at any point in your daytime to connect with that breath. Feeling that cooling sensation as the outside air draws into the nose where it warms up inside of the body. And then that warmth air as it exhales, it releases, sending it back into the environment as a cool component. So at any moment during the day, we can connect with our breath. And secondly, if we're looking at a screen all day or we are using our eyes constantly in order for us to transform at work, we need to rest those eyes. So every so often closing the eyes and taking a break, allowing that fire to cool off. Another thing that we can do is rub those palms together Create some nice vibrations, some nice smooth, even vibrations, bringing that rubbing to a close, eyes closed, and placing the palms of the hands onto the eyes as you bring some weight and heaviness to this area that is constantly overactive when we work. Coming into that place of darkness stability. Very good. Releasing those palms from the face. And then taking a moment to smile. So just bring the energy into the sides of the lips, drawing those corners up towards the ears, towards the cheeks. And just being appreciative of being present and being alive in this physical form, this moment in time, wherever you are at work. Even if you don't want to smile, bring that smile anyway. And if you really are unhappy, go to the bathroom and begin to laugh. <laughs> and just laugh. <laughs> Force the laugh. <laughs> And eventually, by forcing that laughter, you'll start to feel the lightness, you'll start to feel the joy, and you can reconnect to some positive energy if you're feeling negative at work for any reason. Very good. So we'll come up and off of the chair, and we'll stand for a moment. If you can be strong and stable in your Tadasana, your mountain posture, leading forward with that heart, Finding confidence, drawing those shoulders back, feeling stable and rooted, grounded on your feet, flat on the earth. A gentle tuck of the belly and a light tilt of that pelvis, a gentle bend of the knee for an additional aspect of support. Very good. And so now I am, um, invite you to utilize some of the props that you might have in your work environment. So if you 
have a chair. You can always use the back of the chair to support you by extending out, walking the feet back, opening up at the chest. You can do that on the back of the chair, or you can do that even at the seat of the chair, and you can come even farther forward, inhaling the arms up overhead, and then exhale, hinging at the waist, and walking back as much as you need to, and letting the body fall forward. Let that neck and that head become heavy, as work always entails thought, so give that mind a break too. Give the neck a break. So you can also utilize any props that you may have for these forward folds, like a bench, or even if there's a package or a block or something that can allow you to feel supported. If you don't have anything and you're in a big, beautiful open space, you can always use your wall as that support as well. Placing the hands on the wall, make sure they're not oily like mine, and then drawing the buttocks back with the support of the wall. So we can really use the wall as a beautiful support throughout the work day in many different ways. So we can even open up at the heart or the chest by taking one arm and placing it at shoulder level onto the wall and then just turning the body to face a perpendicular way to the wall or even twisting the body farther out towards the open space to open up that shoulder and that chest region. Oftentimes we crunch up and hold up in the shoulders due to tension or stress that comes from the workday. You can do this also on a chair. You can even do this on a cubicle, on the wall of a cubicle anything that feels supportive in order for you to open up, lead forward with that heart and release any tension that you may be hanging on to at the workplace. So if you do have that chest pain too, or that discomfort in the shoulders, another way to do this too is to bend at the elbow. So the arm comes on straight out to the side at shoulder length and then bend at the elbow. Place that forearm and that elbow onto the wall and then just gently begin to walk the body out, relaxing the shoulder until you begin to feel a nice strength, stretching and opening into that shoulder area, that chest area and breathing, finding stability here. And of course, as always, make sure you find balance what you do to one side, do to the other. So even if it's not at the same time because you don't have time, at some point throughout the day, make sure to get back to that other side. So again, you can bring a little balance into the body. Very good. So too, we can also utilize our chair for the lower body as well. So either we can use the seat of the chair and we can bring our foot onto the seat of the chair if that's accessible. You can always use a box to put the foot onto, or if there isn't one of those and you just want to use the support of the chair or the wall, just step one of the feet forward. The opposite leg comes behind and we're gonna bend that front knee forward. Reach the toes back and gently inhale, reach the arms up, stretching the body up, Coming into a warrior posture here. And again, you can use the support of the chair if you need to in any way, support of the wall. Bringing the hands back down, we're gonna step the foot back to meet the other and then step the opposite foot back, find that balance. Inhale, reach the arms up. And again, if you're on the chair with that extended stretch here only bring that foot back the back foot as far as it's comfortable very good and we bring the foot back down the arms back down another thing that we could do with the chair to open up the hips a lot of times there's a lot of emotions with work so we can 
bring our, we can come into our pigeon posture here too by taking that foot and placing it onto the chair. Or if there is no chair, you can use the wall as support or your balance as support and just gently bringing the foot to the opposite thigh and then drawing that knee out towards the side. If we're on the chair, we're gonna support ourselves with the chair, hop it back and come into your pigeon on the chair, using the chair as that support. So doing what feels good to you, if, even if you wanna lean forward so you can rest onto the back of the chair, that's an option. And then coming up, drawing that right foot back or the left foot back to meet the other. And then balancing it out with the opposite leg. And so again, if you don't have a chair, you can do this standing up, coming into a nice tree posture, bringing the... <laughs> bringing the foot to the opposite thigh, and then gently drawing that outside knee out to open up. Again, you can use the wall as support, the chair as support, whatever you might need. Do what is supportive for you. Very good. And then taking a moment to reconnect with your stable posture. Very good. Reach the arms up. Towards the sky, reach, reach, reach. Exhale, bring those arms back down to the sides of the body. Very good. So we're gonna come into our sheet. If you're at a desk, this is gonna be very beneficial. I'm gonna mock this as my desk because I do not have a desk. So we're going to use this seat of the chair as the desk. So at any time when you're seated in your chair at a desk, just gently draw that seat back and reach the arms directly out in front of you and just allow the forehead to fall onto the desk. If there is no desk, you can do the same action on the wall. And you can even allow the forehead to fall to the wall. And finding a moment again to be still here the activity that our work brings, brings about an increased energy or an increased anxiety at times. So if we just come back inward, we can take a moment or two to reconnect to ourselves and disconnect from all of the pressures that come from outside of ourselves at this work. Very good, and then gently supporting the body to come back to your nice seated position. No matter where you are, you can always roll those shoulders, releasing that tension, releasing any hold that you may be hanging on to. Always balance by rotating in opposite directions doing whatever you need to at work to feel good. This is your body, this is your life. If you look a little funny or you feel funny, figure out a way to do it where you don't look funny. So like I was saying, you can always lean on that cubicle, right? You can even cross one opposite leg to the other and dip that hip down and find some new openings, some new stretches that can be had by just, you know, hanging out, talking doing whatever you need to do, doing your work. If you're even at a meeting, let's say you're seated in a chair, the other way too to get those nice hip muscles is to come into a seated, a seated cross-legged position here. Or, uh, instead of standing into our tree or coming into a seated, you could just hang out like this while you're doing your meeting or even while you're typing at work, right? There's always different ways to support the body, support the mind, 
and let's say you don't have a chair you can do the same thing standing while you're boxing while you're moving while you're mobile even so another activity that we can do is to just gently stretch the fingers back and connect with each finger one at a time even by connecting to each finger and opening it up we're helping to balance all of the elements within our body that fire that air that ether that space that earth and that water sometimes with too much air we can feel a little bit anxious sometimes with too much fire we can be a little intense judgmental or aggressive too much space element that ether element it can be a little bit spacey in the head not stable within our work too much of that earth element we can find ourselves feeling heavy and fatigued and too much of that water element we can find ourselves overly emotional so just taking a moment or two to support these hands these fingers that we use so much to do our activity our work activity shake them out let them go this is something else that can be done throughout the day at work anything you can imagine to help support the body is going to be supportive for your body and mind very good so now we're going to come to something else that could be very subtle so these kind of things can be done without anybody being aware of what you're doing or the power that you're magnifying within your body and we can also do that with our eyes and with our mind so we'll begin with the eyes so for this we're going to strengthen our eyes close the eyes the eyelids for a moment and then open close and open close and open very good and then we're going to gently spell the alphabet with our eyes if spelling is a little bit too active for you and you need a little less activity because you're thinking too much then you can just dart the eyes from left to right up and down otherwise if you'd like to join in with the ABC's just draw the ABC's with your eyes as we begin to bring about exercise strength and activity to these eyes again these things are overworked so you can close them and do this activity or you can do them open and depending on how far you get you may or may not feel fatigue in between or at the end but when you're done taking a moment to reconnect with your breath reconnect to that natural rhythm of the inhalation and exhalation that flows with ease knowing that you are stable in mind and body and therefore you can get through anything that your workday presents itself with you have the ability to conquer and to achieve whatever it is that you desire whatever it is that is asked of you and you can do it with vigor with stamina with ease with grace and with kindness as always take a moment or two to honor who you are and appreciate all the work that you put in through your day If you're really really needing just a moment to completely disconnect or to just let go of all that buzz that's around you I invite you to bring the buzz in so you may need to disconnect from your environment to do this or if you're comfortable to do it in the environment with others and we're going to disconnect the senses so we're going to come into our brahmati or our bumblebee breath and with this we're going to use our hands 
So our final three fingers, our pinky, our ring finger, and our middle finger are going to cover over the eyes to disconnect from that sense of sight. Those pointer fingers are going to fall onto that third eye, disconnecting from the sense of thought. And the thumbs, when we do get there, they will close the ears off to disconnect from that sense of sound. And in this posture, in this mudra here, we should begin to feel an absence of sensations that surround us within our environment. Cutting off those senses, we'll take a deep inhalation in, and on the exhale, we'll bring a gentle sound of hum, either out loud or silently internally. And we'll do this for seven rounds. When you're ready, joining in, closing the ears, closing the eyes, closing the mind. Inhale through the nose, exhale, hum. 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 Releasing that final breath, releasing the hands, connecting with whatever silence remains. Taking a moment to disconnect from the external noise, connecting with that internal subtle vibration can help to balance the mind and body rid of any chatter or chaos that may be present. And even though your be is active constantly, it is focused, it is stable, and it's mission driven. Work with self to be your drive, to be your purpose. Find your purpose in your day. Be the best you you could be in whatever work you do. Take a moment to place the palms on to the heart center. It's comfortable to close the eyes and draw the chin down towards the chest. Honor this divine being that you are, this amazing, productive, functional human being that puts their effort into work. Allow that work to work for you. Find your support throughout your day and every day. Take care, everybody. Be well, stay happy, stay healthy.